How long will it take to catch every single shiny Pokemon for the Generation 4 games? That's exactly what we're gonna find out. Welcome to this video, my name is Oliver, Cardmaster from the Magic Arms Paradise and today we want to talk about the new quest we started with the beginning of 2020. The question, how long would it take and how difficult is it actually to catch every single shiny Pokemon for the Generation 4 Pokemon games? The task, well, catch every single shiny for the Generation 4 Pokemon games. To start off, here are some rules I set myself for doing that quest. Rule number 1. Each Pokemon of the Shiny Living Dex must be represented by a unique individual. That means that for the Bulbasaur line, we need to hunt for three different Shinies and evolve two of them. Rule number two. I have to catch every single Shiny in this Shiny Dex myself. This means no trading with other people, cheating or hacking them in. In the end, every Shiny will have my own OT, which is either Oliver, Oli or Otu Liver, if it's not the Wishmaker Jirachi. Rule number three. Every shiny Pokemon will be transferred in the end to our Soul Silver copy. However, we can hunt the shinies in all Generation 3 and 4 games and transfer them over. Rule number 4. The National Pokedex of the Generation 4 includes 493 Pokemon species in total. Unfortunately, there's one Pokemon we cannot hunt in the Gen 4 Opera games without cheats, and that's the mythical Pokemon Celebi. Yes, it is now able to legend hunt for it in the Crystal Virtual Console game, however, there is no way to transfer them from the Virtual Console to Soul Silver or other Gen 4 games. The other 8 mythical Pokemon will count as a bonus hunt, so the quest of a Gen 4 Shiny Living Dex is already successfully completed with 484 normal and legendary Pokemon, but from time to time we will also do some of those bonus hunts to get every Shiny which is possible to legitimately get in the Generation 4 and prior games. And talking about legitimately hunts, this is actually a very hard discussed topic with many different opinions, but for my quest we count every Shiny which we caught within the generation 3 and 4 games, without using any external soft and hardware. So no cheating modules, no poker hacks or any editing software which changes anything in our games. However, for some of the other 8 mythical Pokemon, there are ways to get them without external hard and software, but with glitches within the games. One example is the Void glitch in the Zinnowegian games, with which you are able to hunt for Shaman, Darkrai and Arceus. This is possible just with the game itself. Officially, this is considered as semi-legit, since we don't use any external devices to change the coding in the games, but it's also not the way Game Freak intended. I for myself am fine with hunting some of the mythical semi-legit, since it's as legit as possible, and for me the most important fact is to only use mechanics we have with the game itself. But let's talk about some facts around this quest. Three of the mythical Pokemon, Jirachi, Fiona and Manaphy, are actually the only mythicals you can hunt completely legitimately without using any cheats or glitches at all. We will use the Void glitch for the other generation 4 mythicals Shaman, Darkrai and Arceus. For Mew and Deoxys I already used the Pomic Berry glitch in my Emerald version to get the event items. This is by the way only possible in non-English European Emerald versions, link on how to do that in the video description. Mew was the first bonus hunt and actually the start of our Gen 4 Shiny Living Dex. As of today and end March 2020, we are 10 Shinies in and Mew was the longest run with 19,751 encounters, while Eevee and Silver only took us flipping 3 soft resets. The top 3 most difficult slash longest hunts will probably be Jirachi, with about 5 to 6 Jirachi checks per hour, with the odds being 1 in 8192. And also Manaphy, with about 8 Manaphy egg hatches uh, per hour with the same odds. I will not go too much into detail about how to hunt them, this is something for another video if you're interested in that, but we will definitely hunt them at some point and I'm already preparing one of them. But another Pokemon which 
could give us a pretty long run is Vespi Queen. So its pre-evolution combi is a pretty rare Pokemon itself already. You can only encounter it in Gen 4 Johto games as a rare spawn on headbutt trees if you got the National Pokedex or in the bug catching contest as a 5% spawn. In the Generation 4 Zeno games, it's a honey tree encounter only, which means you need to soft reset them in front of those trees. But the tricky part is that only female combi can evolve, and the encounter rate for female combi is only 12.5% which makes it 8 times harder to get than a normal shiny. So you can always check the progress on the shiny living decks in our live streams over at twitch.tv or with the google sheet I linked in the video description below, where I list all my shinies. You can also click on the names to get linked to the shiny reaction clips or videos. Some of you might ask, but why Soul Silver? Why Generation 4? I mean, you could easily hunt most of those shinies in Sword and Shield with even more Pokemon species to have shiny and for. You also have higher odds of finding shinies in the newer games. Well, there are some reasons I chose Soul Silver for that. First of all, I'm a shiny hunter for 14 years now, and most of my time I actually spent hunting shinies in the generation 3 to 5 games, with the odds being 1 in 8192. Since Game Freak decided to double the shiny odds with X and Y, and generally with every new Pokemon game, Game Freak implements new methods to get shiny Pokemon more easily. Which is of course really cool for people who joined the shiny hunting community recently or for people who want to start with shiny hunting, but at the same time it makes the shinies in the older games even more valuable because they're just way harder to find. Another reason is that Generation 4 is my favorite generation of all, also Hard Gold and Soul Silver are still the best remakes of Pokemon games we got in my opinion. Last but not least we have that ab absolutely adorable feature of the Pokemon following you in these games, I wish we had this in other games too. But in the end, when we have all the whole shiny Pokemon in our generation 4, we will show them off in our Soul Silver with the shiny sprites in the fights and of course also the follow sprites. I always wanted to do this shiny living decks in gen 4 and I am more than hyped to start this off with the beginning of this new decade. What is your favorite generation of Pokemon games to hunt in? Which Pokemon do you think will give us a longest hunt? The right answer might get a thumbs up from me in a few years when we finish the quest. Write in the comments below. To finish off this video, I will share a live reaction of one of our shinies we got during that quest. If you want, feel free to check out my Twitch channel in the description down below and visit us doing our live streams. I will update you of course also on this YouTube channel on our progress. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and now enjoy this reaction. But yeah, like when you check out my panels down below, I have a website called, like, it's not my website, but it's a website called shinydex.com and I have many many hunts on, on them uh, I met in the past listed. Not all, but many of them are, are listed in, in the, on that side. WHAT?! NO WAY! NO WAY! HE GOT IT! YES! OH MY GOSH! Woo! NO WAY! WHAT?! THE FOURTH SHINY! THE FOURTH! WE GOT IT! NUMBER FOUR! WHAT?! IT IS... IT IS EVEN TURNA TIME! AND IT'S EVEN TURNA TIME! Woo! Let's go! Let's flip it! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> I can't believe it! We got it! Shiny Tonatai! 174! 174! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Blue! It's blue! The fourth blue shiny, guys! This is it! The blue year 2020, guys!